A Seminole County family is extra thankful after getting lost deep in the woods yesterday. It took a team of first responders who braved hazardous floodwaters along the Little Big Econ State Forest to bring them out safely. Today, West 2's Bob Keeling spoke to the family new at five. At first, the Mills family said the going was fine here along the Jones East Trailhead. But as they got further along, the floodwaters got worse and left them disoriented. They needed help. We all worked together as a family to you know, find a way out. And we definitely have something to talk about at the table today during Thanksgiving. 13-year-old Christine Mills, her 11-year-old cousin, and twin 15-year-old brothers set out on this trail around 4 yesterday afternoon. We were just on the trail four days ago, so we figured it was pretty good. So we started going in, and the, the floodwaters were pretty high. With the heavy rains on Tuesday, the Little Econ River rose an estimated 8 feet leaving much of the trail underwater. We thought that we could find a way out, but then after a while we thought it's getting more serious. And dark. The one working phone they had showed just 14% battery life. They got in touch with their father, they huddled, stayed calm, and waited. It was scary, and if we heard a noise, we couldn't see anything. I found them pretty quickly, but uh, I had to basically swim to do it. Buddy Mills realized the only way to get out was to call for help. Seminole County firefighters, the sheriff's chopper, even forestry workers came to the rescue. It felt safer once we knew that they knew where we were and the helicopters were over us. And the kids learned an important lesson. Definitely call for help before the sun goes down um, and to not go through as much water. Coming up all new at 6 o'clock, the family's message to those rescuers who risked so much as well to make sure they were safe. Reporting in Seminole County, Bob Keeling, West 2 News.